いけ翼僕が指揮を取ろう。Hi guys, welcome back to EK Tsubasa. This is Trash Ken. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as usual. I am here to present to you the character analysis this time for the Dreamfest, Cha In Chan, and Mark o w i r o n It seems like every character is getting a Dreamfest version, which is good. Or at least I think so. It offers more variety, right? And both characters come with new team skills. So, shall we take a closer look at both of them? Let's go, Ike! Cha In Chon, Super Heavy Striker, is a skill type Korean forward. Cha's S Warrior's Grand Emergence plus 12% stat is a new team skill. I do feel that 12% is a bit on the low side and may not generate enough value to consider running a 36% skill team if you compare with the team skills in the current meta. However, let's just wait and see how this works out in the future. So, his passive A type link skill plus 12%, which only requires 8 players, means that he can fit into any skill type solidarity teams. Even in other archetypes, it is not that hard to get some bonus out of it. His default skill is Heavy Tank Cannon, which is kept at 485. It comes with a special effect blow away up to 2 players. So, this skill is definitely worth some black ball investment if you are looking to play him in your first team. So, let's take a look at his stats. It seems like he can be played as a utility forward. His offensive and defensive stats are at a respectable level, with his dribble, shot, and power being more prominent. His parameters before applying passive are above 10k, with intercept and block being the exception. So, if you apply the passive, his parameters look very impressive. With his shot at 13.8k and header at 15.5k, he is able to hit 67k force with his heavy tank cannon and 70.7k force with red devil header. Also, note that his S heavy tank dribble can hit a total force of 53.8k, which is above the recently released Dreamfest Victorino. Now, for his skill build, replace A Heavy Tank Dribble with the S version and consider replacing the S Heavy Tank Tackle with the A High Power Tackle as it is easier to get it to A80 and provides good value. Both skills come from the Strong Tiger iteration. Also, consider transferring S Red Devil Header from Dauntless and Decisive Striker and S Heavy Tank Pass from Strong Forward. For this S pass, right, it is obtainable from the leak shop. As for his limit break, 25 dribble, shot, speed, and power. This is the usual run and gun build, focusing on dribble, shot, and mobility. Just wait for Cha to get into position before passing him the ball. As for his second limit break, 25 shot, speed, power, 21 pass, and 4 technique. This is a more utility build catered for those with plenty of scoring options in their team, making use of his S heavy tank pass. So, recently we did a poll regarding what type of formation you guys are using. So, it seems like most of you guys are using physical formation. So, we are going with 21 pass and 4 technique. For those that are not using physical formation, you should stick with the 22 pass and 3 technique. Cha In Chon, Super Heavy Striker, is a surprisingly good forward that has excellent skill support and amazing stats. He will be able to offer a lot more. Than just goal scoring, depending on the way you build him. However, looking at the current meta, with the most commonly used goalkeeper being Dreamfest, can 
Genzo and Zeno, Cha loses a fair bit of value from that perspective. As these meta keepers, uh, they gain bonus, some sort of bonus against him. Mark O'Wyron and Lion Tyrant is a toughness type Arabic defender. So O'Wyron's team skill is similar to Cha, just that it is for toughness type. His passive A forward killer plus 15% is going to be his icing on the cake, making him quite a mighty defender. So his skills and press defense cap at 475 is one of the top tier attacker worthwhile of investment while as calculated interception is rather mediocre. As you can see from his stats, he is going to be a defensive powerhouse. Supported with some impressive speed at 7.7k and the ability to distribute the ball with his pass at 6.4k. His parameters pre-passive already look daunting with his defensive abilities way above 10k. So if you apply his passive against forwards right, his stats are further boost with his tackle hitting 14k. So O'Wyron is able to bully forwards with his tackle as his total force is almost hitting 67k. So for your information, that is above Dream Collection Matsuyama. Now for his skill build, consider replacing the A cross block with the S version from the elaborate defense leader and only if you have an extra copy. Consider giving him A precise pass or the B version obtainable from the Saudi Arabia's captain and A rolling dribble from Hidden Passion. Giving him offensive skills is essential as his stats and passive will enable him to contribute offensively. For his first limit break recommendation, 25 tackle, speed, block and power. With this build, you should be choosing tackle most of the time and only use block when you cannot tackle. For example, against high or low balls. As for his second limit break, 25 tackle, speed, 17 pass, intercept and 16 technique. This build is more suitable if you play him at the side and using him as a bridge between your defense and midfield. Mark O'Wyron and Lion Tyrant sets up his death trap and awaits any forwards foolish enough to enter his kill zone. He is a very solid defender that comes with amazing defensive abilities and good offensive options. If we are to nitpick, he could use a better S interception. However, I do feel that this Dreamfest O'Wyron will not be very enticing for most people that are using the HA version as it offers much less in comparison. Let us know how you feel about this Dreamfest or Iron in the comment section. So there you have it guys, our character analysis for Dreamfest, Mark O'Wyron and Chan Chan. Do let us know how you feel about these two characters in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified for more. And if you wish to support us financially, check out our Patreon program, link in the description section. So guys, we have a giveaway coming up very soon. Uh, I'll announce it in the next video. So thank you so much for staying until this point. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day ahead. Trash can fading out. Bye bye.